So you see, it's all that one essence, what I call intelligence energy. I don't use the term God here. Purely and really, purely and simply because we can get confused with that term. Because we, all of us come from some different tradition. Some of us might be atheists, some of us are agnostic, some of us could be Christians, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, Jews. If I start talking about God, I'll relate it to what my traditional belief is, what I've been taught or what I've learned to understand, and not get a true picture of what I really am. Get a, con a confused picture that's been put out there by these different traditions who believe that their description of it is right and the next one is wrong and all the rest of them. So dividing the indivisible. So that's what we basically point to here. Have a look. See, investigate if you are what you believe yourself to be, a human being. And you really know that you're not because a human being because you're called God the supreme being. You call yourself a human being. But what if you took the label off the supreme and the label human off and try and separate the beingness in this room? You realize you can't. And you look around the room and you say, that's being a chair, that's being Bill, that's being me, that's being you. It's all that beingness which we put labels or words on that differentiate it. What's this word I or me referring to? Isn't it referring to a conceptual image that I've got about myself? I, labels, I'm Bob, the Australian, and the good fellow, not so good, I'm unhappy, or I'm depressed. Put a lot of labels on this pure intelligence energy and taken the word to be the thing. Given it some seeming substance and independent nature, which is the cause of all our psychological suffering. The word. <coughs> 